In this video, we're going to look at working with the clip list in Pro Tools. The clip list is the primary location where you'll manage the clips you've imported into your Pro Tools session. You can audition clips from the clip list by holding down either Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and clicking on the desired clip. You can also search for clips in the clip list. To open the Find Clips dialog box, you can press either Command-Shift-F on the Mac or Control-Shift-F on Windows, or simply click on the clip list pop-up menu and choose Find. With the Find Clips dialog open, you can search by name by simply typing a name into the search field, and the clip list will display matches in real time. You have the option to include subsequently added clips, so any future clips that are recorded or imported will also appear in the list. Or if you uncheck the search field, the clip list will only display newly added clips, which can be extremely useful when recording overdubs in a session that already has many clips in the clip list. If you look at the clip list title bar, you can see the current search string in brackets and the plus sign, which indicates that include subsequently added clips is enabled. If you want to clear the search and see all of your clips, you can press Command Shift D on the Mac or Control Shift D on Windows, or go to the clip list pop-up menu and select Clear Find. If you want to repeat a previous search, bring up the Find Clips dialog and click on the down arrow to the right of the search field. Here you can view your find history and quickly recall any previous search. There are several ways to select multiple clips in the clip list. To select a range of clips, select the first clip in the range and then shift click on the last. To select or deselect non-contiguous clips, hold down the Command key on Mac or the Control key on Windows and click on selected items to deselect or unselected items to select. You can also use the marquee tool to select or deselect clips by holding down the appropriate key and clicking and dragging to the left of the clip name. To select unused clips in the clip list, open the clip list pop-up menu, go to the select sub-menu, and then choose either unused which will select all unused clips, including whole file clips, unused audio except whole files, which will select subset audio clips but exclude whole file clips, or choose offline to select all clips that are referencing offline media. Most of the time, you'll select unused audio except whole files. This is generally the safest option for cleaning up your clip list without the danger of accidentally deleting a whole file clip. Next, choose the clear command from the clip list pop-up menu, or press Command-Shift-B on the Mac or Control-Shift-B on Windows, and the Clear Clips dialog will open. Then you have the choice to click Remove to remove the unused clips from the session, or if you have whole file clips selected, you can also choose Delete to permanently remove the files from your hard drive, which is generally not recommended. We'll go ahead and click Remove, and we'll get a warning telling us that some of the files we're about to remove are used in a track, a plugin, the undo queue, or the clipboard, we can then click yes to remove the files individually or hold down the option key on Mac or the alt key on Windows to remove all of the selected files without having to step through each individual dialog. Some other clip list options include exporting clips as files, which allow you to select subset or whole file clips, set a range of export parameters, and then export the clip to a new file on disk. A more obscure function is to export clip definitions to parent files. One example of a way this can be used is to take a drum loop that's been sliced into individual smaller loops, select them in the clip list, then choose export clip definitions to write the subset clip definitions back into the parent file. If I go ahead and click export here, I can go to my import audio dialog, locate the whole file clip, and then I can see all of the clip definitions inside the file. This would allow me to import just those particular clips into a future session. This could be a great way to build up a library of drum loops, for example, in a more concise format. So that's a look at some of the deeper functionality available in the Pro Tools clip list.